I hear that record all the time. It must be a big seller by now, huh? Thank you, Andy. Well, that yes. really is a wonderful record. You know, such wonderful things are happening for Noah. It's really great. Uh, big hit in nightclubs, and uh, you're great on your television series, and, uh, well, you've certainly distinguished yourself in all the movies you've made. Andy, I didn't come here to argue. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we watch you and the girl from Uncle every week, and... Uh, and love it, you know, it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a real cloak and dagger. Well, it's true, the producer takes the spy stuff on the show extremely serious, you know. After I finish a page of dialogue, he makes me tear it up and swallow it. <laughs> you're lucky you're not doing a musical variety show. How would you like to sing a song and have to swallow one of the cue cards? <laughs> it's funny you should mention that, because I did a number of variety shows in England. That's oh, how I got it? started, yeah. Really? Um, well, actually, before that, I played a lot of small nightclubs over there. Well, I've played a few of those myself. Well, I'm sure they weren't nothing like the ones I played in, Andy. Oh, yeah? They were very small clubs. I remember one, all they had was a bartender and an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> they were called working men's clubs. You know, the miners would come in after work for a little ale. And those miners are a really rough audience. If they don't like your act, they turn on the lights in their hats and read the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of an act did you do? I did just about everything. I played the guitar, sang folk songs, did impressions, juggled and recited poetry. Well, what didn't you do? Eat. <laughs> they don't pay too well, yeah. But no. it was satisfying, Andy. It made it possible for the miners to keep up with the news. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's one song that you recorded that sounds like uh, you might have done it in, in the nightclub act. That you did. Oh, you mean, uh, there was an old farmer who had an old sow. Out, out, idle lead thou. Susanna's a funny fool man. Out, out. Well, uh, no, that wasn't the one that I remember. <laughs> no, I, I was talking about the one uh, about the future Mrs. Orkin. Oh, that one. Yeah. Can we do it? You bet. All right. Now, if you uh, folks will just turn out the lights in your hats and put down your newspapers, we'll start. <laughs> I know a little donor. Donor. I'm about to own her. Own her. She's a gonna marry me. Marry me. At first, said she wouldn't, wouldn't, then she said she couldn't, couldn't, then she whispered, well, I'll see. Mm -hmm. Then I'll see Mrs. Orkin, Mrs. Henry Orkin, or across the seas I'll run. So help me, Bob, I'm crazy, Liza, you're a daisy, won't you share me, I'm full of, won't you? Liza, sweet Liza, if you die's an old maid, you'll have only yourself to blame, dear. Liza, dear Liza, Mrs. Henry Hawkins is the first class name. Sad about that, old chap. Say, Andrew, you really have a frightfully good English accent. You could have played the lead in My Fair Lady. Well, I tested for the part, but I didn't get it. Oh? No, it was given to Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> <laughs> Studio politics, you know. <laughs> she wears a little bonnet. Bonnet! With feathers stuck upon it. Bonnet! Covering a fringe, all curled frim. <laughs> it's just about the sweetest, sweetest. prettiest. The neatest little donut, donut in the whole wide world. And she'll be Mrs. Orkin, Mrs. Henry Orkin. Got her for the name of the day. Promised me last Monday, so to church on Sunday. Off we trot the donkey day. Thank you. 
Scott, with Jack Jones, Barbara Eaton, and Noel Harrison. You ready, shall we try it again? Yes. Yeah, Hell! Oh, 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 oh. 